Hello everyone, I'm Lana from South Florida. Welcome to my channel and let's check out what is blooming. The Grammatophyllum time to bloom. So this is um, Grammatophyllum Jumbo Grand PK starting to open up. Pretty nice size plant. I have it for uh, maybe four years. I'm gonna check the tag. I have a date on it. I got it as a little baby from, um, I believe, eBay. <laughs> so it grew pretty good size. It is in the basket that been swallowed by the plant. So it's really growing like a bear root now. Has few spikes, five, five spikes this year. And uh, this beautiful, coffee brown color on the green background kind of le lemonish back <laughs> and this um, beautiful pattern on the lip very pretty and I love the way the uh, flower spikes are cascading downwards unlike the um, Grammatophyllum elegance which have flower spikes going upwards so not all of them opened yet, but I'm so proud of this baby. <laughs> I'm so proud of this baby. Very pretty. This is one of my favorite of the Grammatophyllums, actually. Alright, let's see the tag. I should have it here. And we see the date on it. Yes, March 2020. All right, smells good. It has a citrusy smell. Um, look, look what is here. Sorry, <laughs> a little messy here. But look what I see. Do you see what I see? This is Vienda. Uh, Pichara Delight and a couple of different other ones that are attached to this uh, clay pot. So three of them blooming at the same time. Beautiful. I have five plants here attached, but I never had them all five blooming at the time. I had two and three at the time. <laughs> and here is, I believe, two Pichara Delights are blooming beautiful dark purple they call it blue for a flower for Vienda it's a blue color look at this color so vibrant the lip is almost black like ink color <laughs> pretty much black <laughs> looks so beautiful I'm really enjoying this plant so uh, this one the same Vienda Pichara Delight. Oh, it's so pretty. This is smaller one. And this one, you can see the one a little lighter. If you see it separately, you might think it's the same. But when they're together, have a little bit lighter color compared to Pichara Delight. And I think this is Princess Mikasa. Yes, yes, I think this is, yes, Princess Mikasa blue. So a little bit lighter, but in the same pattern and color palette. And um, I think it was, I planted here three Pichara Delight and another one is Pekchan blue also in the similar colors it has a little flower spike coming up love it love it love it look at this <laughs> one focus so pretty so pretty and next to it is a little dendrobium faces <laughs> faces heads <laughs> this is the um, antelope top type little small flowers but it's blooming for a long time 
Dendrobium chocolate antlers. I did put a tomato cage for it because I think it grows big. It's already have lots and lots of new growth. So at least I would be able to tie them up and keep it tight. <laughs> there is a Grametophyllum scriptum. No open. Oh, there is something opening up. But all these flower spikes. And they're all looking upwards. So, and last year and same this year i have this yellowing of the buds when they're already so mature this all gonna drop and i don't understand what's wrong with it because last year i had the same thing see it's green here and starting yellowing on this um i thought maybe it was too much water because it was out there uh, watered by sprinklers rain <laughs> Yeah, starting to open up and uh, so I brought it in here it's under the uh, roof if so it doesn't get as much water because I was told by some growers just leave it alone don't over water it because it has huge pseudobulbs and they store a lot of water so you don't need to water it too much and yet still yellowing and I did spray it also for a strip so I don't know <laughs> if anybody knows why they're getting yellow because they're gonna fall off I still gonna get flowers but that's a half of the flower spike that has yellow buds frustrating okay I saw here some look at these little babies and cyclias are in bloom smells so good and let's see this one first <laughs> gotta show this before it goes because this one been blooming for so long it start getting <laughs> a little bit of uh, marks on the leaves so on the petals so it is about to be done but the second one opened up recently so for a very short period of time I have two big blooms here beautiful white with this bright yellow your color <laughs> in the throat so pretty so pretty very big big size catalia flowers so I repotted it in 2022 I think I might got it in 21 So that's the name and again that was the rescue orchid from the estate sale now let's talk about this beautiful encyclias oh my god look at this color it's fuchsia pink or purple pink I guess fuchsia <laughs> with this chocolate brown um, or coffee brown petals and sepals this is the one that got me a blue ribbon, the first place at the Boca Raton Orchid Society uh, judging uh, panel. So <laughs> she gave me two flower spikes again. Smells so good. This was orchid from Palmer's Orchids. That's a species, Cordigerae. Cortigera, Rosea, Palmer, Palmer Orchids, and where did I get it? I repotted it in 2021, so it's about time when I got it. Oh, there's something blooming here too, look at this leaf. It's hard to see, only two are open, but the color is brilliant. <laughs> But this one is like all the bright veins of purple. Very pretty. And it smells so good also. This one has four flower spikes, but just starting to open up. And it is, it is a, um, this is a bagged baby. I, no, 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 not bagged baby. I got it from a nursery in Delray. 
I believe yes. Um, Johnny Mangos Nursery. So that was a few years ago, two, maybe three or four. And this is the back baby <laughs> in Siklia that got me yellow ribbon, which is cultural award, because uh, I was told actually to take it for judging at the um, at the uh, American Orchid Society place because I didn't tie it up the you know I need to stay you need to stake the spikes for the judging I don't know why but that's what they told me so two three four five six seven eight eight flower spikes and this one looks blue <laughs> you know the flower flower color blue because they did call her blue it is kind of brown chocolate brown to the petals but it have little i don't know how to explain it but like here i'm not getting the right color it's more pinkish on here but it has more lavender in it and almost kind of bluish color i'm not ge getting true color on the camera and that one is so potent chocolate fragrance I can smell her all over the place. So she is almost fully opened. Okay, can you give me beauty? There you go. Beautiful view. I do have a tag for her. I might get it out. <laughs> and this one is blooming like so tight. It, the bulbs are just one on top of each other. It's just the way it is. Bloom. Ah, don't fall. So it's a hybrid Cordigera and Encyclia py Pyriformis, Pyriformis. Alrighty, that's it for this rail. Here, the Dendrobium still blooming, little Nobili. This was my birthday orchid. Ah. cute smells very pretty all right so what else here what else here bunch of dendrobiums just starting to open up here on my dendrobium tower look at this pretty this one has lots of spikes but it's not so big one two three four five six seven eight nine this one is blooming first time for me. This is, I got this from, oh, it's stuck there, Brethren's Orchids from one of the Redland shows. That's the name. So, I don't know, probably like a year ago exactly. So, and I think they're gonna get more whitish. I remember they had them blooming. On the show they were more white and that purple they might get more white they're just starting to open up so pretty and this is the mighty intrubium tower here that has lots of flower spikes little yellow starting to open up and again one is yellow but those are yellow greenish yellow with the the cranberry lip here you little guys love it love it love it and few ones growing here blooming just quick view before we go see there are a few cattleyas in the back i want to see i want to show you guys so so all my dendrobiums are pretty much growing into that clay pebble mix or charcoal and lava rock so it's starting to open up this one i repotted recently in the, put the tomato cages around them because this looks so tall <laughs> this baby's still blooming 
I have a question there from somebody on uh, comments in the comments that I need to find an answer about how to grow these little babies and this is done 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 was blooming forever I don't blame you <laughs> all right these such a pretty pumpkins lots and lots of blooms love it love it love it let's see what's out there very quick run here just couple of uh, new um, viandas that are blooming this one is uh, beautiful fragrance <laughs> i love the color this um what is the color goodness i cannot describe the color it's purple right <laughs> It is purple and smells like a bubble gum. It's very sweet candy like bubble gum. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. That's pl from Plantilla Orchidias and the tag is up there. Um, I, I, this one orange. Come here, baby. Love this one. It's on the way out already, but look at this orange color, like maybe more like peach or pumpkin. Very pretty. This is from Benjan Orchids. And it has a bunch of kikis. I bought it on sale or clearance with $25 plant. I got it because it has like three or four kikis. Three kikis. Mama and three kikis. On a small size, but blooming, 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 blooming. Babies, this one is starting to uh, <laughs> more flowers, but it smells so good here. It smells amazing. This baby is so fragrant. It smells so good, you guys. I just can stay there for rest of the day enjoy this fragrance one of them is Bartom I think this one mm -hmm. and the kiki is blooming and this one a little more in yellow um, Mimi Palmer and then Siniana is very fragrant also because both of them are very fragrant and look what is there still blooming and again, this one is the back baby orchid. That's the name. That's the name. Here we go. Come on. Look at this happy flower head. <laughs> That's the miniature type Vienda from Mods. And next to here, another one that is. So pretty, it has two spikes, but it's on the way out already, it's been blooming for a while. They're small, small little ones, but they do bloom a lot, especially this one. It pretty much blooms all the time. And the coconut orchid, Maxillaria tenifolia. All right, that's, I think that's when I planted it on that, um, mounted it on this coconut um, husk. So all it is tied up the coconut husk and I covered the roots with the, the moss. Oh my God, it smells so good, ridiculous. But I think I also smell Mimi Palmer. It's one overwhelms another because this one is super fragrant. It smells so good here, you guys, <laughs> because each and every one are fragrant. <laughs> and Mama Orchid here, she's just starting to open up her flowers. She's in this, um, the fiber. Mm, what is that pot called? That's the fern fiber, something like that. It looks like she likes it. There is nothing inside. She just started to attach herself to that pot. Okay, this baby is still blooming. That's the also moss orchid. 
and lip is way brighter usually but just a little burnt out by the sun because she get a lot of morning sun here it's in the basket and that's your name beautiful one beautiful pattern and this baby is still blooming I'm all ready for her to be done and start the growth season. I enjoy to see them with new roots, with new leaves when they're growing. <laughs> I start to worry when they have flower spikes for a long time. So I'm ready for her to be done blooming. This has a beautiful red color. I love this one. She bloomed for a long time too. I mean, her blooms last long time. She blooms often enough, and usually her spikes are so large compared to the um, the plant itself. So the bigger she gets, the bigger flower spike is. She has very small reddish, um, fiery orange red flowers, but very tall spike. Okay, let's see this baby here. I smelled you from far, far away. <laughs> That's the Mimi Palmer, and I encourage you guys, the orchid lovers, to have one in your collection because this is the most fragrant Vienda that I know of. <laughs> and here, you know, some uh, orchids fragrance like certain time of the day, she's pretty much all day fragrant. And uh, that's the one on this big clay pot they used to be lamp table <laughs> and the, on the background the bigger one that's the violet abinjan orchid and this baby has it's not baby it's a mama plant she has a kiki the kiki is having the spike here too and kiki already like grown size I'm not gonna separate them yet. They're doing well together here. And uh, so two flower spikes on mama plant. All right, let's see what else. One more bloom here. It's a uh, Vienda species, Curvifolia. Has a little bit curse in her leaves. So, Curvifolia. <laughs> That they think what it is but bright super bright like fiery orange I don't know we don't see it I can we see you can we see you I don't want to spend much time there I want to show a couple more things but teeny tiny flowers and she is really small but she has two more kikis in the basket there so very excited I see little spike bud over there. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, the viandas. Here. I think this one, when the, the white big cat layer that we have in the beginning of the video, I think this one that attached to the palm tree is a part of that, the division of that cattleya. When I was repotting it, I know it um, came apart. And I believe this one is the one, <laughs> the other part. And I had never bloomed, but growing so nicely here on the palm tree. A pretty good size. Look at this new growth. I hope it will bloom. I don't know if it doesn't have enough of sun here, but it gets plenty for a couple hours. <laughs> the bird just flew into me. <laughs> All right, what else is blooming here? Just a few more things, couple of encyclias here. This baby's been blooming for a while. That's the uh, Cartigera, that's a species. In Cicle Cartigera with the brown petals and sepals and this white leaf with beautiful marking, purple marking on it. On the two flowers. She been really slow grower for me. It's on the wooden mountain that the um wooden plug. No media there. 
and she just been really slow but i'm so happy to have her flower this one also kind of bluish <laughs> although it looks so pink on the picture i mean on the video Let's see. but the, it tastes like kind of the blue in real like a flower blue orchid blue <laughs> it's um for in sickly i would say like just like the other one i had but this is a little different this also hybrid some kind and sickly uh, like a clearance and i see them uh this is back baby one and i saw them they still have them in home depot although this one is a couple years and again on the mountain it's a little slower grow for me in cyclists for me mounted for some reason little growing a little bit slower than um than when they're potted but then you have to be careful not keep it wet the roots do not like to be wet and soggy for encyclia hey come on give me some color <laughs> this one i don't have real name um gotta be nodosa hybrid I have some tag in there, but I don't know if this is real tag, maybe Jiraki, something like that, mounted on piece of wood, little bit of moss in there though, that's one of my first mountings, <laughs> alright, this baby is still blooming, and she's very fragrant, Look what is here. Hi, that's a hippodamia. Um, Nodosa hybrid with um, Aclandea, the two species hybrid. And uh, Palmers have them, but this is the begged baby. And look at her size. She grew pretty good. She's on the wooden plug. I had her in a pot for a while and then I uh, tied her up to this wooden um plug and she's way happier here for sure and palmer orchids have her on website i saw them recently and i mine is prettier than they have on the picture well, because they're seed grown they're all different colors i like those purple spots um burgundy color spots on the Kind of greenish lemonish background all right nadosa herself but she's like blooming one two flowers at the time it's not her season but she still blooms and look at this pretty spots all right i showed her already but she had a different flower the the, the other spike over there was blooming now it's a new flower spike Two flowers on it very fragrant uh, it's already starting but a little later in the morning she will smell so good so flowery and it's a pretty good size flowers look at that so that's also hybrid uh, Catalina um, glorious may so uh, what was it this is when it was repotted, mounted. It's, um, I see, no, wait, what was it? It's also a dose of something, and I forgot what it was. You guys can Google it. Glorious May, she is beautiful. I feel like to make a little video separate, teeny tiny videos for those orchids with their names because sometimes i want to google and when they're new hybrids um you cannot find pictures so it's nice to have something and beside when they're grown from the seeds they still will have little variation in the coloration a few phalaenopsis are blooming here that's a tetraspes have six flowers yes you little pumpkin just one flower on this one and this one is super fragrant too 
That's the happiest one, but just one flower. <laughs> Super zebra, <laughs> big zebra. <laughs> and look at all the Hoya flowers. Hoya is blooming here too. All right, do I have anything else here? I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Um, something I was gonna show you guys here. Not many new things here, but um. There is one that is blooming, that is kind of special. Not this one, we've seen you many, many times. <laughs> That's the uh, Vienda Dr. Anek with um, something else hybridized, but this is Orandas, Mucaras, Rinanceras, my son loving orchids. This baby, <laughs> the white with pink purple spots, she decided to grow two kikis, and kikis have the uh, um, blooms. And mama is blooming, but that's only one who gave me kikis. And she looks happy. We I gotta get here in the back. This one is my first Aranda or Mukara. <laughs> She has such a big flower, but look, even though she was first, she used to be attached on the tree, and then I took her off, because she was not blooming, was not enough light for her, but some of them grow over her, outgrow her, there we go, that's what I'm going here for, <laughs> look at this, so this is Tirith's orchids, terrestrial, Aureolobia Terrestrial orchid, that's still like a pencil orchid, like um, Miss Joaquim kind of But go away, look at this It's so unusual, the, um, the lip and the throat is so pretty Why we don't see anything? What's happening? Here we go, this bright yellow with red stripes. How cool is this? Why are we not doing so well in this corner? There we go. So it's Mama and the Kiki. Both are blooming. So actually, Kiki is the same size as Mama now. Yes, I think I bought you a couple of years ago on one of the show, maybe Bonnet House, Bonnet, Bonnet, why do we have flies all over you, because you're sweet, sweet girl. <laughs> all right, that's my compote spot, where I have um, different kind of orchids here, not kind of, but a couple of different renancieras, this one is on the way out, but still, look at these big red flowers. <laughs> Love, love, love her. She blooms pretty often too. And that's the um, tag here for this one. This is Renanciera calls them Jumbo. And that was awarded, good award, 2020. And it has another hybrid, Renanciera hybrid, which has way smaller flowers. I don't have a name for her, it just said hybrid. Super red. This one just starting to open up. And there is another spike already coming. This is a kiki of the mama. And mama has a flower. Oh, too bright there. Mama has a flower spike and a new blooming and new spike coming. So they they periodically bloom a few times and then they stop for a while. This spot has <laughs> reeds, orchids, 
the red one, the orange one, <laughs> and I have the the terrestrial ones, the white, two of the white, and this one is a purple, have a spike, so it's all kind of stuff in this one. That was my first arrangement. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I just put them all together, whatever I had, all my sun loving orchids at the time. <laughs> and they're doing well here, but probably one day I would need to separate it, getting really crowded in there. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty red color. Just show us your face. that's it just a couple more things here i want to show you guys you probably are tired seeing this dendrobium which is blooming forever non-stop more and more flowers and the old flowers still hanging in there and a new flower opens so it's just giving and giving that's the green lantern that's the um begged baby dendrobium <laughs> And our nosemums are almost done. I mean, pretty much done. Still smell good. But I saw here something. What, guess what is this? This little green thing here. That's not a flower bud. <laughs> All right, please show us. The other orchid is bumming in. But that's a monarch butterfly cocoon. Attached to my orchid. Do you see this little green line there like little gold i mean golden crown that is so cool i want to see when the butterfly hatch from it come on give us some guys come on come on i want to see you <laughs> i cannot get it but you guys got an idea i do have um milkweed flowers so i do get the carpillos from the monarch butterflies they just demolish the whole plant but it goes back <laughs> it comes back so i want to see this baby hatching and i do want to show you guys before this one goes away that's the uh, dendrobium dendrobium what is it? I had it in my head and I forgot. A film is a soft cane once. Let me get from the others. It's impossible to get there. <laughs> I have orchids everywhere here. So, oh, very pretty flowers. It is on the way out. It was blooming violently violently <laughs> i just didn't have time to get here and <laughs> make a video of it and before it's done i just wanted to show one more time very pretty flowers um not as fragrant as the anosmum in fact really little fragrance on at least mine so kind of lavender um color of the petals and sepals and white lip with a little purple markings there such a pretty flowers this one already have bunch of growth new growth coming up it just doesn't look pretty on the video <laughs> but that's the uh dendrobium aphelum i just found a tag on the floor on the ground <laughs> and it's pretty good size very pretty it's just the camera doesn't want to get it nice and i do have this is a film hybrid something else with it i have flower buds but it didn't bloom yet it's coming a little later and so a couple more buds I see here. I'm super excited about this dendrobium because it didn't bloom for me. And guess what? We have flower spike. <laughs> it's a yellow, yellow dendrobium that I've been waiting to bloom. Because I think I repotted it maybe a year ago or more. Grew two new canes. 
or three maybe this one was also on my watch <laughs> i think more like three canes it grew since i have it and it's this first one to bloom and it's completely leafless on that cane i don't see anything on the green ones yet but this one is decided to give me another flower That's a bullinianum that bloomed not long ago with lots and lots of flowers. All right, this is it. This is it. Put it down here. <laughs> I don't see anything else. Elenopsis. I just repotted <laughs> or mounted these babies. They were on the top of the other little pot and they were just doing nothing there. Oh my gosh, look, something is in there web and something else so um i don't know if i can call them philanopsis but they are something else they like more sun than philanopsis do pulcheriama they grow on the rocks so i decided to set them on the clay pot <laughs> this big beautiful clay pot from benjan I had it for a long time and I just didn't know what to plant on so I attached this was one plant and I separated it into three <laughs> they were all bunched together so I separated it in three plants and one I think have a kiki already growing they just started growing new roots like I saw a couple of new roots the tips so I have it since um October so it's not even a year yet also from one of the I mean October Tamiyami was it Tamiyami show all right this is it so good luck my babies and <laughs> your new home here so we'll see and we cannot wait for this guys so look at all the flower spikes holy moly <laughs> cannot wait one of them is in cedium the uh, Wilson area tropic breeze has tons of flower spike and Schomburgia. Look at her. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I think she has like 13 flower spikes there. You a couple more weeks before blooms, I think. So this one too, probably. Those flower spikes are forever growing. All right, thank you so much for watching and uh, wishing you a great Sunday.